Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the All-Star Muay Thai 2 Gala, brought to you by Prestige Fight and Axis Pro. Coming to you live from the glorious La Selva Grande here in the beautiful city of Paris, France. Et pour débuter cette deuxième édition de Prestige Fight Alsa, nous allons démarrer cette soirée, mesdames et messieurs, avec un combat international de Muay Thai dans la catégorie des moins de 65 kg qui va se dérouler en 5 rounds de 3 minutes qui va opposer le français Kassem Antar au Thaïlandais Yod Sam. Le premier des deux boxeurs qui va se présenter à vous, il a 21 ans, il mesure 1m84, 64 kg, 900 grammes. 42 combats, 35 victoires, dont 9 par KO. Il a été champion d'Europe amateur. Sous applaudissements, Kassem Antar. Kazem Anta. Son adversaire, il a 20 ans. Il mesure 1 m 78, 62 kg, 700 grammes. 60 combats, 45 victoires, dont 5 par KO. C'est sa première en France. Il a été champion du Omnium Stadium en Thaïlande. Sous l'applaudissement, mesdames et messieurs, le Thaïlandais Yod Siam. Combat international de Muay Thai de la catégorie des moins de 65 kg qui va se dérouler en 5 rounds de 3 minutes. L'arbitre est Bernard de Fretin. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for 5 3 minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 64.9 kilograms. He stands 184 centimeters tall with a professional record of 35 wins, 5 losses, and 2 draws, including 9 victories by knockout. Fighting out of Leon France. Let's hear it for Andar Kassam. 
And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 170 centimeters yeah, tall yeah. and weighed in at 62.7 kilograms. Uh, with a professional Bagram, record of 45 wins, 15 here. losses, including five styles. victories by knockout. Prestige Muay Thai 2. My Thailand. name is Sandy Holt. Here's your decision. And your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Bernard de Freitan. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Muay Thai event, the second series of Prestige Muay Thai. Brought to you by our fabulous promoter, Jamal Yakubud and Hajj Abetaha, in association with the partners with Axis Pro. The first fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Is this fight between Anta Kasim from Lyon in France, in the blue corner. And in the red corner, we have Yod Siam. Red corner will be wearing the black uniform, the black Muay Thai shorts, black gloves, black ankle supports. And in the white corner, like I said, from Lyon, Francis Anta Kasim tipped the scales last night at 64.9 kilograms. Comes in with 42 fights. 35 wins, five losses, two draws, and he's had nine wins by knockout. And the gentleman here performing the Ram Moy. Ritual dance. From Royette in Thailand, it's Yod Siam, 20 years of age, 60 fights. 45 wins, 15 losses, and only five wins by knockout. Stands at 1 meter 70. Tip the scales at 62.7, so there's a 2.2 kilogram disadvantage to the tie. 64.9 kilograms to the man from France. So this is the, what's called the Ramboy ceremonial ritual dance, pre-fight dance. I've just seen him, Yod Siam. So our referee, Bernardo De Freitan, in charge of proceedings. three-minute rounds. So you can see there the pre-rituals of the Muay Thai arts from Thailand. This is where obviously these the sport originated in Thailand many, many years ago. Monsieur, it is a good fight. It is a good fight. It is a fight. It is a good 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 fight. from Bolton in England, the UK. I'm here to commentate on this fabulous fight night. Prestige Muay Thai 2. Juge 3. When the bell goes, let's go. It's a full Muay Thai rules fight. Five to four fights. Again, you'll hear the Thai music being played. So we've got the taller, leaner, heavier fighter from Leon, France, Anta Kassim. 42 fights, 35 wins, five losses, two draws, nine by way of knockout. Standing in the orthodox, that's the left stance. And standing in the south pole, smaller man but with a little bit more well 18 fights more experience but like I said it's giving away 2.2 kilograms in weight 
sure that be aware of that. Stands in the so far, that's the right guard, right stance. He's firing in with the left inside low kick for the moment, then going upstairs with the high kick. Yod Sayam. Tradition is starting at a slow pace over a five, three minute round. Nice right body kick. Tay is the word for run kick. Goes in the left, locks on the lead leg from Yod. Punch, low kick combination from Anta. He's in with a nice two punch, high kick combination. Remember, it's full Muay Thai rules. The clinch is coming into effect here. Elbows, knees are allowed to the head. Quick warning from the referee there. Anado, Anad, no use of the ropes. Well, this is an absolute stunning hall. As you can look around you, an amazing venue. The here, Vassal Bagram dates back 150 years. They've had boxing shows on here. Prestigious ballroom and events. Hence why it's called Prestige Fight in association with Axis Pro. Well, fighters going into the clinch, knees to the leg, coming in nicely now from Anta Kasim, unanswered. Referee allowing it to continue while there is work. Nice knees to the leg. The tie, Yod, looking on pace. And again to the referee, warning there. Well, coming into the last 30 seconds now of the first round. Both fighters having got a good account of each other. And as we know, with all the traditional Muay Thai fights, we'll start slow in the first round and increase as the rounds go on. The Muay Thai scoring system from Thailand, based on effect, not just a cumulative uh, scoring, point scoring. Well, we've just seen three minutes. First round, pretty even round. A few of the harder kicks coming by the way of the red corner. Which is Yot Sayam, who reigns from Royet in Thailand, a 20 year old. Got the rising star there from Lyon, France, Anta Kasim, only 18 years of age, already making his mark in this great sport. So working between rounds, fighters get one and a half minutes. Traditionally in Thailand, it's two. Some parts of the world, one. In some parts of Europe, it's one and a half, which is what these guys are getting. Well, the one and a half minutes is up. Nakwe, Kono, Chuck. So round two scheduled for five. Oh, nice follow-up kick there. Oh, and in return, it's come alive in round two. Like I said, traditionally slow start in round one, and then they will pick up the pace. Both fighters asserting themselves early and. The second round, Yod fires in a left body kick coming from the southpaw. Nice three punch combination and a nice right punch, right kick coming back from Antar Kasim. Stamping his authority back, showing the tie that he, you can do it, I can do it too.
nice high kick coming upstairs from Antar Kasim. A nice low kick as well. Good left body kick coming in from Antar. Two minutes gone into round two. Like I said, more of a lively round between these two combatants. Great Muay Thai fighters here. And again, reins in the knees to the leg. A little bit nullified though from Yon. He's playing the game. Not big scoring techniques to the thighs and the legs, but keeping busy all the same. Good. Referee allowing yeah. them to go a little bit longer than usual. Yeah. Well, there we go, Jump. breaks them up and off they go again. Nice punch, low kick combination. 30 seconds remaining in round two. there in the corner, just not even engaging <laughs> facially. Last few seconds, there goes the bell. End of round two. And the corner there. White corner. I'm gonna say white, it's got like white and black for the shorts. Traditionally in the, uh, we see some of that action from before. Great low kick there, catching him and a nice kick. And then catches the leg, stands up and makes him pay with the same technique there. Great performance on both fighters. Yeah, but you're going with the uh, traditional red and blue corner. And obviously with the colours of the shorts, you can see black and white corner. Black appertains to red, the white corner for the blue. Well, the trainer there, Fabio Pinka, in Antar Kasim's corner. So one and a half minutes. Please, please, please. to around three. Yes. And again, like I said, traditionally in Muay Thai, they pick up the pace. Solid low kick coming from Antar, going upstairs to the body this time. When attempting the teat, that's the front kick to the face. Yod Sanyam forcing Antar with his back to the ropes. Jumping roundhouse kick. Tay Loy, jump round kick. Smiles, just leans back, moves away. Plays in the left body kick, T. Goes again upstairs, high to Hansa, taking on the arm, shielded well. And 
Hunt's out there looking low. I think he's going to probably look low and go high or just faking, trying to think, make Ansar fall into the trap. The psychological fight of the game. It's a physiological fight, obviously, as you can see, very visible in front of your eyes. Oh, nice inside low kick. Nice block from the kick from Yod. Hanta uh, getting the measure of these power kicks. Fires an inside low kick out. Well, we haven't seen much elbow use up to now. Ball fighters have been quite content to use the hands and legs. A little bit of knees to the legs, but nothing significant. Well, I say that right on cue. The first elbow comes in. Antar getting another warning for illegal use of the ropes. Ooh, just missing with that high kick. Yod leaning back nicely there. Last few seconds of round three. Good left body kick comes in, makes him pay with a two punch. And two good body kicks coming in from Yod just before the end of the round. There goes the end of the round. Well, Ty puts his hands up, thinks he's now starting to take the lead a little bit. Be interested to see what our three judges ringside are making of this. No me, no me silent, ah, you're lying, ah. And here we see a little bit of a replay of this fight. Nice low kick as Yod throws the body kick. So, Yod Siam eats an elbow there. From Antar Kasim, the first elbow of the match comes in. Antar there being the man, lands it, boosts his confidence. So, we've seen quite a little bit of an interesting play out between these two of hands and legs, but two more rounds, round four, this is when things all change in the Muay Thai scoring criteria. All the minute and a half rest is over. They've had the water cooled down, they've had all the advice. Well, 10-10 round one, probably a 10-10 round two. Difficult to even mark the score there. Normally you do a little tick or a little cross or something there just to uh, signify who's in the lead. Possibly, I'm going to give, just mark the cards of red corner, Yod Siam for round three. So I'm still going to go 10-10 at the moment, but this is the round where, like I said, it's the money round in Muay Thai. And again, they start quite... It's a little bit of a low blow there. Chuck. And the tie there just bowing, acknowledging the corner a bit low. Nice two punch kick combination coming from Antar. Oh, nice catch, pull, and roundhouse kick movement there from Yod Siam. the young rising star, the 18-year-old Antar Kassim. 42 fights at the age of 18 is pretty good going for a Westerner. No, you, yeah. Certainly taking the fight to Yod. Oh, that's a downward elbow. Just misses the target, plays the two knees to the body. Yod comes in with his own reply. And again, a little bit low blow. Referee just asking him to keep it up a little bit. 
opens up nicely again, just over halfway through now, round four. Judges are looking closely at this now to try and separate these two. It's been a pretty close fight. Five three-minute rounds of full Muay Thai here in the La Salle. Wagram, beautiful venue here in Paris, just literally down the road from the Arc de Triomphe. The Champs-Élysées. Attention, les gars, attention. Choc. Well, prestige fight two. Prestigious, it certainly is. And with our opening bout here between these two fantastic-looking fighters, came as a good display of Muay Thai. Oh, approaching 22nd mark. Referee just having a little bit Chuck. of uh, adjustment to the elbow pads. Oh, nice score there from Yod. Kicks, makes him miss, kicks again. Body kicks with a big scoring Muay Thai technique. Well, Yod looks quite confident here in round four, but has he done enough to take the lead? Again, it's back to this same position throughout. Just tapping away at the legs, not scoring really. Dude. Even though there's a bit of work rate going in. And there's the end of the round. So on the SFR Sport Channel, Maxis Pro, the prestige fight two here in Paris, France, 2nd of February 2018. My name is Sandy Holt from Bolton, England. I'm your commentator tonight in English around the world. And the privileged ringside seat here. This is our opening bout. Eight fights we have on the card tonight. We have a four-man tournament coming up soon. Well, there's NASA in the corner, great fabulous trainer of Fabio Pinka, legendary fighter here in France. So fifth and final round, here we go. Well, it's been a close fight for sure. I've just got Yod just slightly ahead as we come into the start of round five. He plays up a nice high kick. Both fighters opening up nicely in this fifth round. Normally this is done in round four, but they've decided to leave it to round five, right above me here in the commentary station. Your ringside seat, privileged spot here in this fabulous venue here. The prestige fight two. Got a good score to the back. The round kick. Big score in Muay Thai. Nice jump front kick from Antar. Antar's all right doing all the playing and gesturing, but he needs to start throwing a little bit more. As at the moment he's slightly behind on points. You can see the marking off the big kick there has gone round into the liver. Proof of the power of those kicks from Yod. Well, Yod just waves those punches off, saying they are nothing. The lighter man, they've been playing the Muay Thai game here very well. 
as the body kick, and another one. Yod looks across to his Ajahn, the crew, the instructor in the corner. Time Master teaches just for those last few words, looking for certain areas to land the shots. Tapping into that X65 experience. This being his 61st fight tonight. And being the 43rd fight for Antar Kassi. Who's given a real good account of himself, lands an elbow. Well, still a minute remaining. A little bit of a low blow, one bite for the uh, Antar Kassi. Yod throws the left body kick from the south part. Well, Antar waves him on. Nice body kick, but then lands at the low kick, throws in the left, two left body kicks again, big scores. Comes back in with a low kick. Well, 20 seconds remaining now. Well, depending on how the judges have seen this, the person to think that Yod is kicking a bigger score technique in more time than the punches. Remember, there's no glove on a shin. Last few seconds now. Yod again fires the body kicks in just to try and seal the deal. Good. Well, touch your gloves there. Well, the ties are claiming victory. Anti raises his hands, but. Personally, I think it's going oh, yeah, over to the, uh, for me, the black or slash red corner. But we'll have to see what the three judges have seen. Well, both fighters claiming victory here, but for me, personally, I'm going to go with the tie. God say I'm. In the ring, got our two MCs. Peter Lenka and Daniel Alouche. Now well, both fighters claiming victory here at the moment. Both fighters have got their hands raised. It'll be interesting to see how the judges have scored this. reviews from some of the crowd. Ty shaking his head. Personally, I would have given it the tie, but Antar did a lot of work inside. And he gets the win tonight. So congratulations to the local man from France, well, actually from Lyon in France, Antar Kassim takes it now to 43 fights, and he goes up to 36 wins. So congratulations to him. Commiserations to Yod Siam.